Hey, hey, you guys! It's your favorite little keto goofball diamond in today's day. I don't know. Maybe I should go check. I'll be right back. Today is day 1770 of my ketogenic journey and week 252. <laughs> As you can see, the Bell's palsy is a little bit better. Not perfect yet, obviously. This eye still don't want to act right. It still don't want to blink. Got some muscle control in my cheek back. Got it back in my lips a little bit. And a little bit in my eyebrows. Can't raise them as high as the other, but a little bit. So, <laughs> better. Not perfect. Better. I can, you know, force my eye to close. Although, if I try to blink, it doesn't really do much. Slightly, but not much. So, anyway, there's the Bell's Palsy update. Alright, you guys. It's been a crazy week. Crazier than normal, which is crazy for me because all my weeks are crazy. But this week, I actually had to pee in a bucket. A lot. I'll tell you all about it and so much more. Plus, there's some photos of the bathroom thus far. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'll be right back. You guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and ring that bell. It's time to rant, rave, and misbehave Keto Diamond style. I sure have missed you and I had actually intended to do daily updates this week but <laughs> uh, I'm not really sure what all you guys know I don't remember what all I posted in my last video but the bathtub fell through the floor halfway not all the way just kind of tilted um, turns out there was not a beam on that side which is interesting but there will be beams now because let me show you what the bathroom looks like or looked like yesterday there was still some more tear out that had to be done and it is there was a lot of rot that had to be replaced, um, which we're, we're getting there. It's, it's a slow going process because mainly my husband's having to do it by himself because everybody's around us is either sick or having to work. So here is the thus far-ish, yesterday-ish stuff. Look yonder, that's what you call a sexy man. Doing hard work, throwing crap at my feet. Tub's gone, see the problem back yonder? <laughs> A lot of problem actually but it's getting it done it's getting it done uh there was a closet here we ripped it out it was like a heater uh that that was covered so that was covered completely so this room well i mean we're gonna put build a box right there anyway well there's no point in this one be careful <laughs> I don't know. You, 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 you don't want to move the hot water here. Okay. I remember how heavy this thing was when we put it in. There is all kinds of crap in here, but and it's full of water. It's gonna be clean. Okay. We don't have to move it. I mean, if it's sturdy there, it's sturdy there. We're gonna make it look good around it and everything, and we're gonna build a box around it and put a shelf over top. Yeah, it's like that. Um, so, pretty much now, it's bare bones. There's nothing in there. We've even taken out a closet to make the room bigger um, because we really didn't need it. Not, It's not, it was what a old furnace went into. There was a furnace in it. We took that out um, and cut that away. And now we even need a new bathroom door. So this whole, every time I turn around this week, we've been at Lowe's, probably been at Lowe's. 15 times in the last four days and then again I've got to work all weekend uh, hubby does it though he had uh, took PTO for the entire weekend because tomorrow is his 45th birthday happy birthday he doesn't care that's smart but anyway he took the whole weekend off months ago with PTO so luckily um, I won't say luckily, because poor fella has been working his ass off this week to get this bathroom messed with. Because 
months ago, we had laid out a plan and paid for it in advance that we are going to the mountains for his birthday next Monday. Can't cancel it. But it's okay. So we're going Monday to Thursday next week. So he's trying to get everything he can done over this past week and uh, over the weekend. He's picked a fine time to leave me, Lucille. <laughs> everything I do is wonderful timing. Even this week, well, last week, I kind of noticed my wheel was shaking just a little bit. So, oh, oh, look, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's tell you a little bit about last week. Now, I stayed mostly keto. On Saturday, there was a cheat day. Accidentally, wasn't really meant to be because it wasn't really meant. I, I tell you, hold on a minute. All right, so... Last Friday, we only worked till 2 o'clock. Came home, got off early. All the machines in the building was broken. Thank heavens, it was hot as hell in there. <laughs> but anyway, all the machines were broken. So we ended up getting off at 2 p.m. And I had not worked the prior Sunday, which goes to this paycheck. Literally, I only got 10 hours for the entire week. Now, hubby worked like a champ. Last week, he worked so much overtime. I think he got like 60-some hours. Um, but, and that was plus... Yeah, he got 60 some hours. Anyway, uh, because he knew I was out and I was injured, I was hurting, my face was hurting. Um, and then Saturday, which again was on the same payday, and again we left early Friday, Saturday, which was on the same pay week, uh, I could only work like three hours because my cousin passed away. Um, she actually passed away a few weeks ago, but they did the uh, celebration of life, which to be honest with you, this is exactly what I want. I just, I don't even care because I, th I think it was so perfect and fitting um and basically what it was they had some pictures up they said a prayer and it was a backyard barbecue a family kind of get together event and of course it wasn't nothing keto friendly there and i didn't even know it was going to be like that to be honest with you i mean i i was thinking i was going to a mournful quiet kind of event oh no y'all they put the pig in the ground and everything uh <laughs> well not really a pig i don't think they did they had big cookers out there. I don't know what they had in it. I know they did barbecue chicken and a bunch of other stuff. Um, I think it was, and, and hot dogs. So, you know, um, macaroni, that whole kind of thing. So, it was really, I think only pretty much an OMAD that day anyway, but it was not a good day of eating. Everything else was, though, although my weigh-ins are just not reflecting on what I feel like I'm doing. So, I am actually going to, and I, I hate this term because we overuse it massively, but I'm going to do a reboot, but not exactly a reboot. I'm going to do a full on start over. I am going to do my videos as if I have never done keto before. I, luckily, I have all the knowledge of it, but what I'm going to do is go, go back and watch all my old videos, um, see what kind of foods I was eating when I initially started. Um, some of them may not work for me now, but I want to see what I was eating, how I was eating, and I want to take it from step one because I forget about something very important. Now, you go back into ketosis pretty quickly if you've been doing keto for a long time. But initially, when you start, you know, start keto, you it takes one to three weeks to get into ketosis. And over that time, most of everything you're getting rid of is fluid. Now, I'm holding a ton of fluid. So, I need to really back it up and just start over. I need to start from day one and try to get through uh, and of course I'll go back into ketosis a lot faster than uh, somebody new coming in but I kind of want to pretend that I'm brand new at it because this trip to the mountains for four days in Gatlinburg I never do well I try and I never do there's just so much crap up there and it's good it's good crap and I know better but I'm, I'm no matter what I think I'm gonna do I, I haven't done it yet so and hell I haven't done it over the last couple years right so once we get back from that we're gonna say that is day one and we are gonna preach the uh, pitch the way in because I don't even want to see it at this point consider where I'm sitting right this minute I think some of it has to do with stress some of it not obviously not all of it but my life has been so intensely stressful pretty much every single day for several years now um, Hi, hello, hello. Stop talking, sir. I'm doing a video. That's the kitty, that would be easy. 
<laughs> and since we've got that gaping hole in the bathroom floor, actually, since we have no floor in the bathroom, you know, what hubby has done was over the, the exposed area, he's been drilling um, a big piece of plywood to the wall so that nothing can get in or out. But, um, yeah, he's being... The cat scared the hell out of us a couple times. <laughs> what is in there? Oh, it's the cat. Uh, so when he's not working on it, there's, you know, it's it's safely sealed off. Um, which I'm very proud of him. I'm very, very proud of him because he's, his back is killing him. And he is busting his ass. It's hot. It's muggy. It's North Carolina. It's, it's early summer. It, it's hot. Hot, hot. He's coming out of there like drenching in sweat every couple of hours. Just take 15 minutes just to cool off a little bit. And, I mean, I can't tell you how proud I am of him, how amazing of a job he's doing. Because, like I said, he's pretty much doing this on his own. With my parents, I don't know what's really going on. Um, Zach was with them. He got really sick. He tested positive for influenza A. My mother, over the next couple of days, got sick. A few days later, my father got sick. Flu, right? No, she went and tested positive for COVID. So I'm a little worried about that. I mean, I, I'm a lot worried about that. But the thing is, I, I don't know what to do or say about it. You know, my dad, he's like, oh my God, I'm, doctor. I'm fine. No, he's not. He's sick. Um, this man is one of the people that are outside 24 7 no matter how cold. Well, not 24 7. If it's daylight, he's outside. That's it. Usually he's hiding from my mom, but if it's daylight, he's outside. Um. But he hasn't been much. He he did go outside uh, day before yesterday, and initially it was really hot in the day. And I was like, "What are you doing?" He went and got on the, the riding lawnmower and made two or three passes. What are you doing? He said, "I checked my box." Anyway, I was like, "Okay, what are you doing? G go back in the house." Well, anyway, <laughs> it's a big piece of property, but um, he comes out at, at, later in the evening and he mows the whole damn yard. I'm like, dude. You don't feel like going anywhere. You don't feel like standing up. What's well, I got to do a lawnmower? I can ride it. Go back in the house. <laughs> Sit down for a little while. Which I guess I shouldn't mess with him. If it feels like moving around, it's probably better for him for, for him to move around. And that's what he's always done my entire life. But you know when he's sick, when he stays in the house primarily most of the time. So it does bother me. It does worry me. I, I just can't see how they got COVID from him getting the flu because my mom doesn't go anywhere and get around anybody except for my dad. My dad goes all over the place. So if he'd come down with something first and got sick first, yeah, I would think maybe that's what it is. But she got sick first and the only person she was around was Zach and my dad. So I just give up. And then my son, they, they thought he had hand, foot, and mouth disease. I don't think that's what it was, but that's what they said it was. And honestly, I put like everything together. I put everything in a big bowl and kind of trying to figure out what all of these symptoms, signs, and things meant. Because my son had developed a rash that was coming and going. My dad developed a rash that came and went, um, which could be a C word issue. But this right here, I mean, what's, what's, the, what's the likelihood that I get Bell's palsy caused by a viral infection? Um, my grandson has the flu. My son has the hand, foot, and mouth, and they have COVID. What the hell's the likelihood that all of those things are going on on one piece of property at one time? But there is one thing that fits everything. The sicknesses, the, the viral infection, the even Bell's palsy. It's associated with Bell's palsy, which is rubella. Now, my doctor said that would be pretty unlikely, but it could be. The problem is, if you're vaccinated for that, you can't. the test won't tell you anything except for that you have the antibodies. So, they can't really test to see if it's rubella. And when I was a kid, I had it. Um, so I was a baby, I had it. So maybe I wouldn't get the, the whole sickness, just the Bell's palsy part of it. They did a study in Baghdad. They checked um, so many men who had only been um, diagnosed with rubella. And those people had gotten Bell's palsy afterwards interesting but I mean there's a ton of things that can cause it evidently it's just that how the hell did we manage to get all of that all of it in a week or two or three last two or three weeks how 
Yeah, come on now. And, and, and if it was a hand, foot, and mouth, none of my grandkids got it. They, did, they didn't get the rash at all. And, and that's supposed to be contagious, especially to children. But nobody else got that. I, I just, I, and I wasn't careful around my son either because I thought he just had a heat rash or an allergic reaction. So I was touching him, checking him, you know, feeling his heat and fever. Um, and he was sick. Um, so with that, I, I just, I'm just, I'm just, you know, I, 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 none of it makes any sense. But then again, my life never makes any sense because at the same time, when I went to my cousin's celebration of life, um, my car, my new Mini Cooper, by the way, that I've already had to replace the back glass in for unknown reasons, was wobbling a little bit. What the hell's going on here? So, okay, I better go up to the tire place and see if maybe I've got a knot on my tire or something's wrong with my tire. New tires. Remember, had the car four months. Um, yeah, wires are showing. It's out of balance. So, I bought a new tire. That was $200. Apparently, everything about a Mini Cooper is very, very complicated because it took them not the normal 30 minutes to do an alignment, two hours up on the rack two hours because mini coopers are complicated and i've got another tire that needs to be replaced it's not bad bad but it could be bad i mean it's it's it needs to be replaced anyway uh, i was like okay fine and i can't figure out if i've got a spare tire or not if it's the type that's underneath the car this one does not have one underneath the car the only thing that's right there is a muffler um <laughs> And there's a thing there that looks like it opens up, but I can't make it open up. So, oh man, there is a damn spare in that hole or not. Do y'all know if I got a spare tire or a spot for a spare tire? I can't tell. <laughs> oh my god. But anyway, um they they lined it up the best they could. And only somebody had put aftermarket bolts on the back and because they had to line it up before, apparently it had camber and they were trying to fix it where it did I don't even understand the words that were coming out of his mouth. That's just what he told me. It was cambered, and they used some aftermarket bolts to to straighten it out, which made it better. But they can't 100% make that completely right on one side. I think it was the... I don't know. It was one of the back... back and those tickles. One in the back. It's the back driver's side tire. That's what it is. So, okay, the, my face is doing a weird, weird thingy now. But anyway, that's been my week. <laughs> and now I gotta go to work all weekend and then head to the mountains. And I swear, all this work around the house, I have, I felt like I've had no days off. I'm so tired, I could just fall out. And, and I'm gonna enjoy that trip to the mountains because I'm gonna lay in the bathtub for a month. Because like, I don't have a bathroom in here right now. Uh, so, I mean, I can go down to my parents and take showers. I'm not walking down there at 2, 3 a.m., 4 or 5 times a night to go pee, so I've got a bucket. Uh, fluid pill, you know. Um, don't worry. It's being cleaned and all that good stuff properly. It's just... I did not know I peed that much. Good Lord, I can fill up that 5-gallon bucket. I mean, not really, but like that overnight. That's a lot. How the f am I so fat? Or getting fatter? Help! All right, so last week's weigh-in, I don't remember what it is. I did not do my whiteboard because it's getting late. I'm getting tired. Uh, last week, does it say? Does it say? Uh. I think it was 174.3. It's what it looks like on the board. It's kind of smudged. Um, and this week, 176. That's a little, wait, that can't be right. My scale doesn't measure that way. I said 174.3, but it must be 174.8 because it, it measures every other two. Um, but in even numbers, it measures in even numbers. Either way, I got fatter. Now, this week, of course, has been another up and down, up and down. But 176, I think that's. It's one of my highest weigh-ins in a very long time. So when we get back from Gatlinburg, what you will see um, the day of getting back will be day one um, and trying to start all over, trying to figure out my journey again. And and really, I mean, I don't want to even call it get back on track because I've been saying that forever and that's not happening. So I'm just going to have to 
basically start from scratch and really re-educate myself on it because I know how to do it, but clearly I'm not doing it per perfectly right now. I'm not doing it properly right now. So that's irritating and that's just part of life, but I, d I don't want to keep gaining weight. I don't. I'm ready to go down and stay down and stop all the nonsense. Only some of it, I mean, you know, like the, Saturday, that was nonsense. I didn't have to do that, but I chose to eat with my family on a special occasion. Um, and which I, I don't feel guilty for that. That's, but that's not what's caused everything. But for the most part, I've been trying to do keto relatively correctly. Now, of course, there's been a lot of fast food because I'm on the go 24 seven, but now that's probably a big problem and plus it's a big problem with getting temptations with little bites here and there and that doesn't work out for me and I know that but I am I am ready to not be this heavy to have my pants not get tight tight er my undies get tight er my thighs starting to rub together again that's <laughs> um, so I mean I'm up 20 pounds from my lowest weigh in and I'm not happy about it I am very not happy about it um, and I just want to, to stop it. So, you guys, a brand new Keto Diamond journey is about to start. We're going to start from scratch day one and try to figure out exactly what I'm doing. going to have to go back to tracking on days I can. going to have to go back to recording every single thing and go back to looking at what I used to eat all the time, which I got a feeling a lot of it has to do with fast food, stress, constantly being on the go. I won't be able to afford to be on the go, to be honest with you now, because I'm in debt up to my... Uh, I was not. I was not like this four months ago. Not at all. I had my husband's car payment. That was it. Now, necessary evils, bathroom and all. I really wanted that car, and I shouldn't have got it. I really wanted it. I didn't know it was going to be so damn expensive for everything. But, I don't know if y'all can see it, but my eyebrow, my right in here is, is like uh, pulsating right now. Alright, yes. So, that has been my keto day 170, week 500, 500, 252 update. Love you too. Thank you for doing the bathroom. No, not tomorrow. You're on vacation Sunday. Birthday. Yeah, but that doesn't mean you can take Saturday and Sunday. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Dude. Close the holes up in the floor first. Alright, so I don't expect everything to be done tomorrow, but or this week, but soon. Hopefully soon. You guys, I love y'all. I gotta go bad. I got up at 6 o'clock this morning for some damn reason. There wasn't no reason. I could have slept a little bit longer, but I didn't. <coughs> there's a lot of sawdust in here. They're cutting the wood outside, but again, there's no floor in the bathroom, so it's kind of... smells sawdusty. All right, Jake. He's out there working. Come in, I think. You guys, much love. Many prayers. There's some great ways to support the channel in the description below if you should choose to do so. I'm going to be adding a lot of stuff for... Like my Amazon wish list. And there's even Lowe's cards on there if you want to hook a girl up and help her out with a bathroom remodel. <laughs> I'm going to talk about it. It costs a hell of a lot more than it used to cost. Um, there, there's going to be some stuff on the Amazon wish list that I want for my bathroom. There, not a lot's there yet, but I'm going to go through it because there are some things I need for it. Definitely storage solutions. <laughs> Definitely. I got too much crap. That's what it is. I went through a lot of it, but there's still a ton. I got rid of three bags of clothes today. What the hell am I doing? I've already ended the video. If you'd like to support the channel, check it out below. I hope everybody for free. My contact information is below. Or visit KetoDiamond.com or the playlist on the front of this channel, How To For Beginners, where I started originally and was doing great. So check all that out. All right, you guys. Much love. Many prayers. I'll see y'all soon. Bye, y'all. 174.8 and it is Thursday. Thursday 176.